Hey everybody, David here, and today I'm going to be talking about Legends of Tomorrow, Season 2, Episode 2, The Justice Society of America. And for those of you that don't know, this is not the first time we've seen the Justice Society in live action. The last time they were done on television was on the TV series Smallville in their ninth season. Uh, obviously, it was a little bit of a different roast, r roster, but uh, they had some characters that were familiar uh, from this episode, Stargirl being the biggest one, and uh, Hawkman and Dr. Fate were part of the Smallville version too. This version consists of an all-new team, uh, which includes a new Vixen, a Vixen that we haven't seen before. Vixen uh, guest starred as a character in season... Uh, four of Arrow, uh, but it was a different character. Uh, this one's named Amaya, and she's from 1942, as well as Commander Steele, who is the, the grandfather of Nate, uh, the historian who uh, got Oliver to help him find where the legends are because he was the one that found out last week that they were scattered through time. And uh, he continues on this adventure with the Legends into 1942, where they were told not to go, and we find out why towards the end of the episode. I really did like the interaction between the Legends and the Justice Society, the JASA, uh, in this episode. I thought it was really enjoyable um, and interesting seeing these characters from a long time ago who were never mentioned in Arrow or The Flash and we're just meeting for the first time today but Nate knew about them because of he did his research on history and uh, we find out like I said his grandfather is Commander Steele who seems to be the leader of the JSA and the JSA funny enough uh, they they start to wonder, well, I, I guess this guy, uh, Dr. Martin Stein, must be the leader of this group because he's the oldest one, so of course he's the leader, right? The, the eldest usually is. Uh, but <laughs> little do they know, Dr. Martin Stein, he ain't feeling the leadership. Well, at first he's like all egotistical about it, of course. And uh, eventually, you know, Jefferson starts convincing him, look, you're not this leader guy that you're trying to be all cool about. And uh, I really I really did like seeing Stein try to take that role and then realizing that he wasn't suitable. Uh, I like Dr. Martin Stein. He's one of my favorite characters on the show. I think Victor Garber uh, does a really great job as him. You know, he's a great actor in everything he's in. Um, and... Oh, oh, and that there was that scene in the club where he was singing. I thought that was great. He has, he is such a great actor and a great singer, singing the song from The Sound of Music. And I really like the Back to the Future reference that they did there when uh, he t uh, it was the Marty McFly reference from uh, Back to the Future uh, when he was talking about the guitar rift and uh, trying to keep up and look for the changes, uh, something like that to that extent. And uh, so that was a really nice little in-joke there. Th this episode was actually much better, I thought, than last week's episode, um, the premiere. I felt this one was a little bit more stronger, tighter, it had a better pace uh, to it, didn't feel rushed to me. Uh, we get to see Reverse Flash also in this time period, and he kills, spoiler alert, get ready for this, he kills um, Rex Tyler, our man, because he realized that he went back in time to warn the legends of whatever was about to happen. Um, and Vixen, he tells Vixen because she comes in seeing uh, that he's very, he's hurt, uh, that it was a time traveler. Now, What's going to happen next week? Is Vixen going to real? Is she going to think that maybe it was one of the legends that did this, or is she going to know that it was some sort of time traveler, uh, another time traveler that came back here and tried or killed Rex? So it's going to be interesting to see how that all finds out. I'm very curious on when the legends are going to find out 
about Damien Dark and Yabard Thawne doing something. We don't even know what their plan is. Uh, it's interesting because Yabard Thawne, we, thought, we saw uh, in the very first episode of Flash this season, season three of The Flash. So what is his plan? Does this have to do something uh, with Flashpoint? I'm very curious what his uh, plot is in this season of Legends of Tomorrow. I'm liking what they're setting up. It's it's getting me curious. Uh, that was something that I think was lacking last season a little bit, was the mystery behind the villain's plot. Um, because it was straight and forward in adventure film. To, they knew what their goal was, and they went. There was a little twist towards the end of season one, but nothing big like this. This has me wondering What's going on with these villains? The the Legion of Doom, right? We still haven't seen Malcolm Merlin yet or Captain Cold. So I'm trying to... I'm wondering when we're going to see them come into the equation. So everything is being built up rather nicely, I'm going to say that. I did actually like Vixen a lot. I, I, th I think she's supposed to be a regular member of this team, so I'm cu very curious when she's going to join up. And Nate, is he going to become a hero since his, you know, his grandfather was Commander Steel? Is he going to take up the mantle and become the next Commander Steel? I don't know too much about that character, if he's in the comics or not. I believe I heard that he is supposed to be a superhero, uh, but I don't know when. We're, I guess we'll eventually find out, right? Was the serum still in his body? Uh, at the end there, after they recovered him, because they were worried that the serum, maybe he couldn't handle the serum or something. Um, if someone can clarify that, you know what to do. Comment below, let me know. And um, I also got to mention that I did like that, you know, towards the end, uh, Dr. Stein realized that, you know what, after he realized that he wasn't the, the proper leader, he put Sarah in charge, uh, which is what I, I, th I think was a great decision because I think Sarah is a great, strong character. Probably the best character of the team. Uh, I, lo I loved her in season one. Season two, she still seems like that great character that we knew. And, you know, after all the stuff that Sarah's been through, not just on Legends, but on Arrow as well, I think she really deserves this. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of these superhero shows always has a male in the front and center as the one leading the team. You know, with Justice League, you, you got Superman. With uh, the Avengers, you got Captain America. And now with the Legends of Tomorrow, you got Shake It Up a bit, um, Sarah. I, I think that's a perfect uh, fit and a perfect shakeup to make this sh show stand out from other superhero shows by putting someone that you wouldn't expect as the leader, as the leader. And Sarah is the most qualified, uh, like Dr. Stein said. So it will be great to see her more leading. I, I'm looking forward to seeing her lead the team a lot more. So guys, I'm going to wrap this up, and I am going to say this was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it all the way through. It had, uh, like I said earlier, it had a really nice flow through the episode. I, I wasn't bored once. Uh, with last week's episode, I felt the ending was a little rushed. Uh, I didn't feel that too much in this episode. I felt uh, everything was really well done. And I wish this would have been our season premiere, but I guess you needed to set up the Justice Society. I just wish they would have set them up in a better way uh, rather than how they did. Um, and I still have a feeling we'll see Rip Hunter again soon. I don't know why. Time travel. So it's going to be interesting, especially now that Eobard Thawne killed Rex. Who's going to go back in time now and uh, warn the legends, you know? So that means Rip's death might not have happened now. So it's going to be interesting to see how that affects the timeline now that Eobard had done that. So looking forward to the rest of the season as usual. And until next time, guys, like this video if you agree with me. Comment below, tell me your thoughts on the episode, maybe something I left out I might have forgotten. That happens to me quite a bit. And subscribe to my channel if you're a big fan of Legends of Tomorrow. And until next time, guys, take care.